Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. My name is Adam Clark, otherwise known as Wizard Keen. And in this uh, episode, we're going to look at web links. How do we create a web link inside of a Minecraft world that will take us to uh, literally it'll open up, if you wanted it to, open up a web browser and uh, take you there. So uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. And we're going to show you the 1.8 way of doing it and the 1.9 because it's just around the corner and if I don't show you then uh, you know I'll make this video and it will be uh, it will be right for about five minutes and then uh, and then and then it'll be wrong so I'm going to do both versions for you today all right so first and foremost how do we do it well you're going to need to give yourself a command block so actually let's let's do this let's clear my inventory first of all there we go clear the inventory of wizard keen <laughs> I've removed two items. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a command. So I'm in creative mode and I've got cheats enabled. Okay, so you must have those two things enabled to do this. So I'm going to uh, type uh, forward slash. Okay, uh, and we're going to say give space and then I'm just going to press tab and there's two people and there's Professor Adam around the corner somewhere <laughs> and there's me wizard keen. Give wizard keen, wherever your name is, and then we want to write in this command uh, underscore block boom there we go and I've given myself a command block that's one of the ways of doing it in 1.8 and in 1.9 now I'm going to pop this command block down here you could even I suppose you could even bury it like this and then you could gri grab yourself a little bit of wood or something oh, let's get let's get something a little bit more you know posher <laughs> uh, and I'm going to put this on I'm going to press shift and click on top of there so I've got it uh, otherwise if I press shift I'll just actually open up the command block itself okay so break a little bit open like that middle click to kind of grab another uh, another block like that oh my middle clicks not working how curious okay uh, we will grab some dirt like this maybe I've re redone my, my block no nope. uh, okay so we've done that so what we need to do is we need to now think about how do we what command needs to go into here to create uh, a clickable uh, link in the chat that will take us to an external website and you might ask yourself as well why why is this useful uh, this is useful if you've got some learning within a map or you want to kind of do some deeper investigations and you want to create an external web link so for example uh, when I did some work for Tate Britain we had links back to the Tate's own website so that allowed the user to once they've experienced something they're like oh this is marvelous where do I find more information we'll just click this link here and it will open up a web browser and it will take you to the website that you're actually intending to do. So you could do it for all sorts of things. You could do it for uh, other YouTube videos. You could even do it for, um, I think what I'm going to do it for, actually, I'm going to do it for my website, okay? So for my YouTube channel. So let's do this first. So I'm going to come out of this and I'm going to go into my notepad, okay? So down here into notepad. And there's my notepad. And I've got the 1.8 version here and I've got the 1.9 version. So let's just focus on the 1.8 version to it. The first, uh, it's a tell raw command, okay. Uh, at p, and we've got open brackets, and it says text, but that could say anything. So we could, so let's do this instead. Instead of there, we're going to say click, uh, click here for link, okay. Click here for link, um, and it's it's going to be color red. It's going to be bold. It's going to be underlined. There we go. Uh, it's gonna, which is true, and, and it's going to be a click event and we, uh, sort of open brackets. And the action is open the URL value, and there's these little things there. there value, and then that's the website. So www.youtube.com everyday Minecraft. So I'm going to take all of this. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go back into Minecraft. Okay. And then I'm going to click onto. Um, uh, my command block and I'm going to just paste that in like this and I'm going to press done now I'm going to grab a uh, redstone block and grab my button put my button in there pop my redstone button on top like this and just fill that in that there so now it's all nice and hidden and we could put a sign on the front but if I click this right click it there down the bottom there if I press T it says click here for links so if I click that it says are you sure are you sure you want to open the following website uh, HTTP, blah, blah, blah. 
youtube.com everyday minecraft never open links from people you don't trust very very good advice and i'm going to say yes and there it is opening up the website to my uh, channel everyday minecraft brilliant so that all works rather well for 1.8 um and uh, you can change what what kind of things can you change you can change the color from red to blue to yellow to, you know uh, you can have it bold true or you could just leave that 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 be you don't have to have it bold you can have it underlined I like it underlined true so all these things is are things that I think are quite interesting it also highlights it for the player so it kind of makes it red and makes it kind of a big action thing it's big and bold and underlined it, it kind of is asking you to to click it okay so that's kind of one of the things that we use uh, and if you want to find out any more about the colors and stuff like that you can go to the um, you know what kind of colors you want to use what kind of other things like underline I think there's strike through as well and things like that too so I'll leave a link for all that kind of information about the terror stuff in the description below if you want to kind of investigate that uh, and then uh, and then you can do that so but in 1.9 it's changed a little bit <laughs> just to make things a bit more interesting for us uh, so what it does it does now it's like everything's got to be in um, in, in these uh, bracket in these um, speech bubble speech brackets okay uh, text text so that would be um, that would be literally uh, click here for link, okay? Click her for link. No, click here, uh, uh, and then color and all that kind of stuff. Now there's a neat neat way. So say you've been doing this kind of stuff for a while and you want to kind of change all your things, you can actually se select all of that bit, which is the JSON, okay? Uh, and we can kind of just copy that over here and we can go to uh, a neat little website that I discovered when I was doing some research about this episode uh, which is um, like YAML to JSON okay so what we can do is we can paste this in so let's just get that paste that in so click here for uh, color red blah 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 and we're going to convert that and what it does is it converts it uh, it just puts it all the kind of um, speech marks around each of these words apart from the other kind of action words like true uh, all the boolean stuff like that. So we can actually now take this and we can copy that and we can put that uh, down here. So bum, 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 uh, and paste that in. And you can kind of, uh, that's how it looks kind of uh, in, in, um, in kind of code. It's all nicely um, uh, separated and stuff like that. We don't necessarily need it in code. So generally what I do is I, uh, I put it all back together again in one long line. So I can kind of just copy that like that and then I can go into 1.9 so let's get out of this one I'll just head into a 1.9 world and I'll show you how it works in there hello and welcome back to this 1.9 world actually it's a snapshot at the moment but this is uh, all the commands will be working very very similar uh, so let's turn myself around and let's get this command block down here now you can see the command blocks are a little bit different and if we open that partly because they kind of look at their lovely glowing lights on the side of it they look amazing and I will be doing a um, uh, when 1.9 finally comes out I'll be doing a kind of uh, a getting into command blocks because they are a little bit different they've got uh, this thing called impulse unconditional needs redstone we can leave all that and I'm gonna ask you to leave all that for the time being if you if you don't know what uh, what, what to do with it but what we're gonna do we're gonna take the thing that we've just copied and we're going to paste that in. Now I always nip through just to make sure it hasn't uh, copied any kind of weird. Um, kind of, sometimes you might see a funny weird character in here, okay? And it's where a space has come, or or there's a a, a weird, uh, you know, it looks like almost like a picture. And you want to get rid of all those things if they've if it's accidentally copied that through. Sometimes when you copy and paste things, it copies invisible characters that doesn't that it is meaningless. Uh, for for the command blocks, so you must nip those out. So, but as you see, this has all got the uh, speech marks around each of the words, uh, apart from the boolean ones like true or false. Okay, so that's all that done. We press done, and then I'm going to grab my button, shift, and click it onto the side of it, and then click on there. And we can see there immediately it says click here for links. So I can click there, and again. Uh, are you sure you want to open the following website? And I'm going to go to the website to change those things over. So yes, we can go there. And there we go. It opens that website for you. So just remember, uh, going, you know, opening up websites from within inside of Minecraft is a lot of fun. Okay, it means that you could go to uh, go to research pages or go for deeper bits of information. 
Or I'm sure you could come up with lots of other ideas for why would you want to link uh, Minecraft elements into a website. So maybe you're thinking about, maybe you've built some Roman ship or something like that and you want to kind of show the original source material or you want to reference something. Uh, so it's super, super good for learning. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, it will end up as a feature within the educational edition. I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great though anyway? So that you can instantly reference things like that as well. So uh, I just want to say thanks very much for listening and watching. And if you've got any more suggestions about what, how you would want to uh, reference things or how what kind of websites you might think about putting into webs into Minecraft maps or maps that you've already done that you've got, you, you want to share with a wider community, do let me know in the description below, in the uh, comments below. And until next time, I just want to say thanks very much for listening and I'll see you all later. Bye.